is Graham Dixon. I'm 61 years old. I've, uh, I'm semi-retired now. I started as a dispensing optician with Rainer's Opticians in 1974, round about the same time as I started to learn to play the drums. <laughs> background was there was always music in the family. I was actually going to a rehearsal, I borrowed a snare drum, I borrowed a bass drum and I borrowed a hi-hat off, off um, my dad's cousin who played the drums um, and I was on my way down to my dad's garage, he had a garage in the centre of town so they could make as much noise as they wanted but unfortunately on my way down there I had a motorbike smash it car pulled in front of me and knocked me off my bike and I didn't make that rehearsal but a long story short I did get a bit of compensation from that crash and I was able to buy my first kit of drums so out of a bad thing a good thing happened the band that, that I was trying to form never formed but I got hooked on learning to play the drums every single day every single night every single day that I wasn't at work that so sort of Saturday afternoons and on all day Sunday, I'd be bashing the drums. I'd take a radio with me, Radio One at the time, and I'd play the, try and play along to the, the current songs at the time. And uh, I think my dad said, "You'll never make a drummer. He sounds like he's building a shed." So, undaunted, I carried on, and then I decided it might be a good idea to take some lessons. So I found a, a drum teacher. Um, it was based at the um, uh, a church or a chapel and underneath was a basement and he rented that. And uh, I can't remember who put me onto it. I think it was probably somebody at the Musician Centre. That was a, a shop down Cavendish Street in Keith, a, a guy called Ken North, who happened to be a drummer. And he, he, he actually helped me tremendously getting a decent kit together in, in future years. The first lessons that I so the first couple of weeks, I think I learnt more in two weeks than I learnt in the whole nine months. I would say to anybody, if you, if you want to learn an instrument, do it properly, take proper lessons from people because you can get into bad habits. So I had to sort of unlearn the bad habits that I'd got into. It helped me develop my own sort of style. And uh, I learnt, um, there's 27 rudiments. Um, I learnt um, the snare drum rudiments by Buddy Rich and uh, another drum um, tutor book by Max Abrams. I think Jerry Barker was just a fantastic teacher and he, he set me on the, the road to where I am now. fighter pilot but and I, f I went to Biggin Hill um, and passed all the aptitude tests, um, passed all the medicals apart from the last part of the medical which was the eye test and I failed with my eyes so I, I, I didn't really know what I wanted to do anyway. I, there was a job going in Keithley uh, dispensing opticians in Rainers so um, it, it combined all my favourite subjects maths, physics and biology so I applied for it. After I'd been for an eye test, funnily enough, I'd found out that, that there was a job going, um, and I got the job. So that, that was the start of my career in, in, in the optician world. But at the same time, I was learning to play the drums. Now, it, you might think that's a bit of a strange thing, um, uh, talking about my other career, but it is very relevant because 
my boss then, who, who set me on, David Greenwood, was a keyboard player. And I got my first gig with David. And um, it was at my uncle's pub in uh, Leeds. It's no longer there, it's called the Old Oak Tree. But once I started playing live properly, I thought I'd love to do this professionally. I suppose so, yes, at the back of my mind, I thought, there's a career here. I've been roaming around, I've been looking down the north I see. and downs in your life you go through peaks and troughs I think my drumming has helped me through a lot of things you know emotionally uh, financially in, in a way uh, you don't earn a lot of money you sort of it's more or less expenses but it sometimes keeps your head above water in times of um, struggle but more, more particularly emotionally through emotional traumas that I've been through two marriages that didn't work my music and my drumming has always been a constant and always, always helped me through because it's something to focus on. It's a bit of a stress release as well. I mean, sometimes at work, you can have a bad day at work. If you've got a gig, you can go bash your drums. Wow, what a stress release that is. I can recommend it to anybody. It really does help. Music would have been always a big part of my life. <laughs> Sometimes my memories are on me It all keeps adding up 